Hey guys, I'm going to do another quick demo real quick. In this demo, I'm just going to show you how to make outbound IVR calls. So that's pretty straightforward. If you guys remember, we already did a video that shows you how to create these IVRs. If you haven't watched that video, then maybe just first watch that video on how to create these IVRs. Really, really short video, maybe like five or six minutes because creating the IVRs is a really straightforward process. So the IVRs are these option menus. I have this scheduled call IVR that um, I use whenever people ask me to schedule a call. So instead of just telling you about it, I'm going to show you about it first and then I'll tell you about it as I'm waiting for it to execute. So to make an outbound IVR call, all you need to do is go to any list where you have some person. I'm going to use this guy right here because this is my Skype account. And I'm going to go in and queue up a call. I'm going to hit this call button. And I'm not going to do any audio. I'm just going to select one of these IVRs. I'm going to select that scheduled call IVR. I'm going to select the phone number I want to send that call from. And I can either send it right now or I can schedule it later for the demo. I'm going to send it right now. And there's usually about a one minute delay from the time that you send it to when the connection actually happens. So um, that happens just from the technology, from the scheduler and the system that goes in and that scheduler runs every minute. So to dispatch any jobs that are scheduled for that time. So what's gonna happen now is just in about a minute, what you're gonna see happen is on my Skype number, I'm gonna get an incoming, I'm gonna get this incoming call right here. See that incoming call? That's my IPR calling. So I'm gonna answer this. Yeah, hey, this is John. We actually had a call scheduled for right now. So if you can have the call right now, just press one and we'll get connected. If you need to reschedule for a later time, just press two. Here's that option one. So I'm just going to press one on. So I'm going to hit option one. You can see that's going to forward that call to my Skype number to the same number that I called. So you're going to see another call is going to come in. I'm going to actually hear this audio right, right here. Let's have the call right now. I'm going to so go I'm hearing this audio. Now I'm going to forward this right back to my Skype call. So you'll see another call coming in. You see that call coming in right there? Now we're actually connected, now we're talking, actually to connected ourselves. talking to ourselves. So that's how, that I, that's how an outbound IVR works. So you can see those were the steps of the actual IVR. So I can create those IVRs to do whatever I want. You can see that I had this other... You can see I had this other IVR, which allows me to put people in a conference. So I can queue that up and put people in a conference. So let's first just go in and test that out real quick and see how that works on the demo. So you can see that conference call. So first, I'm going to get some 100 people. I'm going to queue these 100 people up. And I'm going to go in here. First, what I need to do is... Um, I'm going to come here and open this in a, a link and I'm going to go in and send myself first that conference call so I can also be on the conference. So I'm going to put in conference from that guy. I'm going to call that guy now. And then I'm going to go in and call all these guys, these hundred people and put them in the conference as well. So you can just see that. So you can see the different things that you can use this IVR for. So now I'm going to call all these guys. So now while we're here, let's just go look at these IVR. Here's that incoming call to get into the conference. Hey, this is John. I filled out one of my Facebook ads, and I'm starting a conference right now to tell you about it, and I'm inviting you into it. So just go ahead and press 1 to join the conference. If you prefer something one-on-one -on -one at a later date, press 2. So I'm pressing 1 to join the conference. This is still processing, taking a little bit of time because it's trying to connect 100 people. So this is going to take a little bit of time. Into the conference right now. now I'm about to be dropped into the conference, as you can see. So now I'm in that conference line waiting for somebody to actually connect. So now you can see all that. You can see all that went out. Music is a little loud, as you can hear, but 
let's see if any of these people join the conference, any of these hundred people that I just called out, see if any of these guys are now going to join the conference. If not, let's go to page two and let's call a hundred of those guys and try to get them to join the conference and we'll see. At least we'll get one or two people to join the conference for the demo, hopefully, and then we'll be done with this demo. So I'm just showing you how easy it is to do these outbound IVRs. So I'm going to put these guys in a conference as well. I'm going to pick that phone number. And I'm going to go in and call all these people now, the second 100 people. And I'm going to put them in a conference. So like I said, whenever you're doing 100 people at a time, this is going to take a little bit of time, two, three minutes to go in and process all 100 of these people. But literally, you're sending out this call to over 100 people. So obviously, you should expect that it would take just a little bit of time to go in and process this. So uh, still haven't had anybody go in and join the conference yet. So we're still waiting on people to join the conference. Now, they should have all received the call. So I'm assuming no one just wanted to join the conference, which is fine because I'm spamming these people. They got no reason to join the conference in the first place. I'm literally just calling them for the purpose of this demo. So hopefully if you're calling people and you can see right there as I as I was just speaking, you could see that someone just joined the conference right there, which is why the why the music stops. So you can see how easy that is to go in and send out all all calls to all hundred people. And I could keep doing this all day long, just go in and keep queuing people into this conference. So hopefully now you guys understand how easy it is to how easy it is to do the the outbound IVRs and use those outbound IVRs where the user receives an incoming phone call and then they have some options menu that they can interact and you can present them with more information about your product or route them to the appropriate person based on whatever input that they're giving you from the call. So really, really straightforward. Most people understand the IVRs as an inbound thing. So most people understand that businesses have uh, some type of menu that whenever you call that phone number, you're routed into some options menu. Most people can actually understand that. And uh, pretty much no one's ever seen this outbound IVR process because it's not really common because not that many people understand how to actually build the scaffolding and engineer the platform to be able to do that on an outbound process. So there you have it. You can you can do it real easy in our platform. As you can see, we've already queued up all these people. Now you see what's happening in the platform. We, we have some people joining the actual conference, but then we have some people who couldn't receive the phone call and they're they're calling back in. So what I recommend that you guys actually do is my recommendation if you're going to do this, the phone number that you're calling from, you want to have that phone number configured as a conference line. So if people miss the call and they call that phone number back, they're not calling back like this where they're being routed into the into the browser. They're coming in and being dropped into the conference. So there's a few ways that we can do that right now. So I could go in and alleviate that just by going to this put in conference right here. I'll come here and I'll come to this edit because I can grab my conference number. I know this is my conference number because that's the number I'm forwarding everybody to. So now I can come back to my number management real quick and I can just go, look, I'm using this live demo phone number right here to make all the calls because it's a live demo. Obviously on live demos, I'm gonna use that live demo phone number. And I'm just gonna come down here. I'm gonna add this forwarding number here. And then now I'm just gonna forward people to that phone number right there. So I'm gonna remove this guy right here because I don't wanna send him to my Skype anymore. I don't want incoming calls coming to my Skype. I only want these incoming calls that I'm missing from people. I wanna be able to forward those guys right on and drop them right into the demo or right into the conference. So now you can see, let's just go to one more page. We'll just queue up another hundred people real quick. So we'll queue up another hundred people and then we'll go ahead and drop these guys into the conference as well with the outbound IVR, just to show you one more time how easy it is to use this outbound IVR. So you can see just a few clicks of the button. There it is. Now I'm sending out this IVR to, to all 100 people. If they want to join the conference that we had scheduled, then they'll be able to join. If they don't, they can reschedule and do something one-on-one, -on -one, just like they heard in the options menu. And you guys will end up having really good results with this if the people that you're contacting are actually know that they are, have a conference scheduled for the day. So as you can see, these people that I'm contacting right now, they actually don't have any reason to be on this conference because like I showed you in the earlier video, 
these people came from the inbuilt lead generation tool for newly registered domain leads. So these guys had actually just registered a domain recently and because of that we have their contact information and we've generated it, generated those leads in the platform. So they really have no business being on this conference because literally like I said we're kind of just spamming them out for the purpose of this demo. But you can see that still some of them are still responding, jumping on the conference. That's what you hear those beeps every so often. You hear that beep. That's somebody coming into the conference. You could hear them if they started talking. They're just obviously not talking because I'm talking nonstop and they probably don't want to interrupt me or something. So. So do it one more time and I'll show you how you can just forward them right inside right inside there hopefully you guys understand how easy this process is and that pretty much serves the purpose oh crap I did the wrong IVR there I needed to do that put in conference so now I just did that scheduled call no big deal so you, you got the point you guys understand exactly how to use this this outbound IVR feature now so we're gonna go ahead and in the demo there you can see how it works and you don't need to see the rest of this conference because we're not gonna have them anymore so Let's go ahead and put this guy, look, while you're here, I'll just forward this guy right into the conference. You'll hear the beep. Did you hear the beep? He just came into the conference right here, and that's, if I want to know who this guy is, I just look at his phone number. Just look his phone number up real quick, and then I can see that's John Bragg that just jumped into the conference from 182ndIdeals.com. How you doing, John? Oh, maybe John hung up already so anyways you can see how easy that is to to make those outbound IVRs and either schedule calls collect feedback route people to the right people in your company um, put people in a conference literally whatever you can think of in your options menu you can do so if you just want to run something informative so there you have it that's the outbound IVR functionality that you guys asked me to make the demo on so there's that that's how you use that so this video is over